Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of the Zinzun X50. It's We're back out in the uh, Mojave again. I'm going to do another flight out here. It's still a little breezy out here, but it's nothing like as extreme as it was uh, yesterday. Um, but I want to fly this in normal wind. <laughs> okay, we got a wind of about five, seven knots, something, something around that that velocity. That's, that should be easy for this little quadcopter. This quadcopter was able to fight 15 knot wind yesterday. So we're going to just do a little bit of flying with it just to see how it performs on a normal normal day. Uh, see if I can do some flips with it also. So I hope you enjoy the flight. Let's uh, get this buckled in. Okay, battery is inserted. Putting on a flat level surface or relatively flat level surface. Binding to the transmitter. And I'm going to go to high. Expert, three beep. Let's go for a flight. And this little quadcopter has extreme pitch and speed, as you can see here. It says on the box, not for beginners, but you know, beginners can fly this one. It's got the nice little prop guards. And then you go to a beginner mode, the first one beep, it's more than sufficient for a beginner to learn with. Let's just show that real quick. Okay, we're back in beginners. This is beginner's mode. It's docile. So beginners can fly this easily. I don't care what the box says. <laughs> Intermediate, expert. Now an expert, the yaw rate doesn't go up significantly. In fact, I don't think the yaw rate changes between beginners. Intermediate or expert. The yaw rate stays the same through all. It's the pitch that changes as you adjust uh, beginner, intermediate, and expert. And the pitch becomes very strong. And this can fight a breeze as you saw in the video I did yesterday. So you can fly this on windy days. It's just that this is the uh, extent of the funnels it can do, which aren't bad. There's a breeze coming from my back now. It's a variable breeze today. Now it's going that way. <laughs> The wind's going 360 degrees all all around me, and it's not a small little breeze. It's it's a thermal, is what it is. <laughs> okay, flips, 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 flips. <laughs> Come down here and do those flips. I wonder if I can do barrel rolls with this. I think I can. Like the. Yeah. It loses its uh, momentum as soon as you let go of that stick. It, okay, if you pick up, let me show you. When you give it, give it, pick up speed, and then let go of that stick, it breaks itself. So that's good for beginners. Actually, that is good for beginners because if you see yourself heading to a wall, just let go of the stick, and it stops itself real fast. But it's bad if you want to do front or barrel rolls because you need to keep that momentum up, and it doesn't do that like like the X4. The X4 keeps its momentum going. And you can do uh, tricks like the uh, Bang Toys X4 I'm talking about. This one here stops and uses its uh, accelerometers to stop itself. See? <laughs> stops itself very quickly. But that's okay. Again, if you're a beginner, you want that. So, regardless of what the box says, this is good for beginners and intermediates. Would like it too. Let's bring it in close, get some more thumbnail picks. Going back to beginner, actually intermediate, so I can get up wind here. Get some pictures with the mountain behind me. That's how I get my thumbnails. <laughs> you got to do that for all your videos. For those of you who are kind of playing doing videos of your own, ooh, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> A bug just went through the blades and got chopped up. I heard it. <laughs> Poor bug. Gave his life for this video. And the quadcopter just keeps on flying. Doesn't even notice it. It chopped that bug up good. But yeah, uh, thumbnails, we were talking about that. 
it's, it's important to get a nice uh, looking thumbnail for your uh, videos if you want a lot of views on them. It helps. It helps a lot. And that's what I try to do at least once in the video. Boy, that wind's picking up again. Right in my face. But it can fight. Let's go to expert. Oh, no problem. Okay, it's getting a little sluggish. I'm going to land it here because I don't want to go off in those bushes. Because it's snake season, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, that's the end of the flight of my little Zing. That light's still steady, but we've got more flight time on it. But that's the Zing Zun X50 on a slightly breezy day out here in the desert. Uh, nice, fast little quadcopter. Got a lot of pitch on it in an expert mode. Uh, but in uh, beginner's mode, it's nice and docile. And even if you're going real fast, just let go of that pitch roll stick and it comes to a stop real fast. So this is this is a good quadcopter for beginners and intermediates. Intermediates like it too. So this is Quadcopter 101. I hope you like this review, enjoyed this review. Quadcopter 101, signing out.